So do you want to learn the one secret that I use to sell like a pro? <laughs> First of all, uh, I just want to point out that I don't do a lot of outbound sales. Meaning, when I make sale calls, it's people that kind of took interest in me and already, you know, left their uh, details. So we're not discussing how to generate interest from nothing, you know, how to pitch your idea, stuff like that. We're merely discussing uh, once you've actually have you have the person on the phone and you you got interest because you showed him, you know, you demonstrated the product or the service, and he's interested. How do you actually uh, transition from interest, like oh this looks cool or oh this helps me a lot? to actually closing and I've tried many different strategies and ways and practiced quite a bit to get very good at it but I can tell you that with with absolute certainty that the thing that really helped me that really changed everything again I always talk about paradigms like always where is the the highest leverage point like you know the root the fundamentals and the uh, nuances that I explain in the three levels of success video so in this case the the root change the thing you can do right now to increase your sales a lot two or three times maybe even more is when you uh, make the sale you want to ask the hard questions now what does that mean most people focus on the techniques uh, and, and strategies and things to go around talking with the clients. It's like, you know, you try to create interest, you try to justify the price, you, you try to make sure that he actually, you know, pays it when he says he will. And like all sorts of closing techniques, all sorts of um, kind of, to be honest, kind of manipulative stuff. That the point is, for example, uh, you're afraid that you know you gave the client the price and he has an objection. So now you go into this weird script. You have like, oh, is it is it this? Uh, do it. no, it's actually this actually solves this problem. So that's why you should buy. And um, or for example, he says, okay, I want to purchase. I'm I'm sure I want to pay you. And you know maybe he can't pay right now. He can only pay tomorrow. So you know all the sorts of uh, so, you know how do you um, make so, how do you make sure that you you purchase and you know I, I don't really have too good of examples because I I haven't done it for so long but 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 there's so many ways that people teach you to to just kind of go around things. It's like never talking about the issue. It's like you know you want to know if your wife's cheating on you. So you're not like hey are you cheating on me? You're like hey, uh, what do you think of this guy? You know, it's, <laughs> so that's how sales go today. It's, everything is very, uh, you know, indirect. And when I started really asking the hard questions and where I learned that from was just one video Grant Cardone made where he talked about it. He talked about a, a sale he made. Uh, I think it was a 16... It was a... It was a, a, a 14 million dollar property that he sold for 26 millions after about four or five years and he asked the seller how do you make sense of me making 12 million dollars uh, of profit on this transaction and when I heard that I was like whoa like you know he's actually talking about the profit he's gonna make and he's not trying to to justify it he's not trying to make sense of it he just yeah that's what it is so I started adopting it in my own, uh, you know, calls, and what happened was it was like magic, because <laughs> I would talk to a client, and I would be, you know, instead of being like, you know, let's say I wanted to know if he's interested in purchasing, I wouldn't like be like, uh, well, uh, you know, uh, what's your budget, or how are you feeling right now, or does this look like something interesting, like. I'd simply ask, like, you know, with what I showed you, with the value I gave you, did I give you enough value or properly target your goals 
so that you can make sense of paying $2,000 to work with me. And then they do, they either say yes, and then we can move forward, or they say no, and then I know that I need to work. basically, you know, give them more value until they change their minds. Or let's say somebody, uh, I, sh I tell them the price, and then somebody's like, um, yeah, um, let me uh, think about, um, I, I, yeah, I mean, I think, I'll think about it, yeah. Again, I'll just ask him, like, what's, uh, what's stopping you from uh, buying? What's the one thing that's, you know, the biggest thing that's stopping you right now from paying? So, and then they'll just give me a direct answer. Oh, uh, it's the money. It's the, I'm not sure what, you know, what you offer exactly, what I'm going to get. Or let's say I get to the actual sales point, uh, the closing part where, you know, it's the payment. So... Uh, I'll just, uh, you know, let's say it's a price, uh, what's, you know, how much does it cost? I'll just say, oh, it's cost $2,000 for a month. I just straight up, like, I wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, but you also get this and this and that. Or let's say they're like, oh, I'm not sure this is the right time. I'll simply ask them, like, hey, okay, let's say you're not, you don't go for it. You know, what what, what do you think is going to happen if you don't go for it? You know, what, what might you lose if you don't go for it? Or let's say they tell me, yeah, I'm going to buy it. I'm sure I'm going to pay I'll ask them, okay, uh, is there any reason you change your mind? You know, because again, I, I can't talk to them between the time right now and when they want to pay. And I simply like I ask, uh, usually I just ask straight up, straight up, like, is there any reason why you change your mind? And, you know, I send you the link and then you don't pay it. And then you just uh, ignore me and, and try to ignore my comments and act like I don't exist. Is there any reason why that might happen? And then they'll tell me, like, oh, they, they might laugh, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, because, and then they'll tell me what's the problem, or they might just say, no, of course not, like, I made my mind, and then, you know, maybe if I had, hadn't asked that, they wouldn't be so committed, but because I asked them, they'll, they imagine that, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's ridiculous, and now they're not going to do that because they think it's ridiculous. <laughs> so, like, anything, basically, the, the main point of this video is when you make sales calls, the, the, the best thing you can do is just be direct like be extremely direct ask the hard questions the the, the ones that people are like Ugh. you know if you want to ask questions where when you ask them you're like Ugh, I'm not sure I should have asked that because they're so honest and so authentic and you will learn that people really respect that when you take this the, all the guesswork and all the indirect shit out of sales it actually makes it so much easier because sales is it's kind of different than you know let's say sleeping with women you know when you when you were with a woman you want to be kind of uh, you, could, you could say you're discreet but you want to kind of be indirect about it you know you don't want to be like hey let's go to my house and fuck but but you know, so you want to say like, hey, you know, uh, let, I, I have some awesome music at home. You know, you want to be kind of nice and indirect because again, logically, it's like uh, for a woman, it's like it's socially unacceptable to to sleep with a guy, let's say that she just met. So, so it makes sense. It makes sense because you want to play that logical game. But when you talk about sales, when you talk about improving somebody's life, there's no, you don't go around. You know, you don't beat around the bush you really want to be direct about it because that will show a lot to the person about your style of communication you know beyond the fact that it's such an effective sales tool it, it will just base a relationship where everything is out on the open so it's like you it's like you're a married couple that know everything about each other from the from the get-go because because again let's say that the client is a bit hesitant he's like uh yeah um sure yeah I'll go we'll go for it um yeah you know instead of being like okay I have the sale let's make sure that I don't fuck it up let's not say anything stupid you know and what ends up happening is you either get like a client who's like not sure so it's it's a bad client you know if you're doing coaching or the guy most likely will be like yeah sure I'll pay when uh, when the call ends yeah I I, I think yeah sure and then he ends up not paying at all and just disappearing. So you should have just asked him, like, hey, is there any reason why you won't make this uh, payment? 
Or is there any reason why, why, or you could just ask him, like, why are you so, you know, doubtful? Why do you sound so insecure? Um, you know, I could even talk to a client, to clients and really just make super personal comments. Like, uh, I just had a call recently with uh, a potential client and he, he was very shy. He was talking very, um, you know, in a very kind of unsure of himself and he told me he has big goals and everything so I just straight up asked him like why are you talking like like a bitch <laughs> I'm not sure I said that word but like why are you talking like you have zero confidence and 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 th- first of all that showed to him that I'm direct I'm gonna show him what he doesn't do well I'm not gonna be, try to make him feel good I'm gonna try to help him and for him it actually gave him an opportunity to show me that he's open-minded, that he's not going to be like, oh, that's personal, no, why, how could you uh, disrespect my ego like that? And, and I, I was like, oh, shit, like, this guy is really coachable. Like, I can really, really help him because he, he doesn't run away from the uncomfortable stuff. He tackles it face on. So it actually gave him, actually massively respected him for it. So, again, sales, just be honest. That's all just um, you know that's not the only thing of course there's much to learn but if you're doing inbound where people contact you that's all you need to know just be nice be respectful show the product show the service and be fucking authentic like close you know be adamant about closing be flexible find solutions and just be brutally honest about everything and don't don't try to sugarcoat it just bam like just point out everything that you see and you're gonna have a very very good experience selling to inbound clients remember all the discomfort you feel in selling it doesn't come from the act of selling it comes from the things you withhold and don't talk about and hide and go indirect you know you you'll find that you can be direct And that will actually give you the best results as well. So good luck.